What is up, guys? My name is Funky Monk. I have been a Hearthstone streamer on Twitch for about a year and a half now, and I'm excited for you guys today to bring you random Hearthstone tips that you should know. Now, before I get into today's video, I just wanted to make it apparent that this video is not going to apply for every Hearthstone player. The one thing I just hope that you get out of it is that you finish this video learning something new that you did not know previously. So if you enjoy this kind of content, I would greatly appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel and like the video. And with that said, let's begin. Number one, certain spells that a player must use on a specific kind of minion, such as execute being used on a damage minion and shadow word pain being used on a minion with three or less attack have a unique interaction in certain scenarios. In the rare instance when the Shaman class obtains the card Execute, when paired with the minion Zentimo, will actually destroy all three minions. That's incredible. I think the reason why the game behaves in this manner is simply because the card Execute has two phases. The first phase being target a minion that is damaged. So if that criteria is met, then it destroys the minion. So because Ysera was damaged in that instance, the first criteria of the card execute was met. Therefore, Ysera was destroyed, the Lich King was destroyed, and Maligos was destroyed. Number two. Now bear with me on this one here. This is kind of a two-part tip, um, and I've been asked this question numerous times in my stream. Um, but does the card timeout prevent you from dying um, if your opponent is able to summon the four horsemen um, from their hero power? The answer is yes, simply because the keyword immune means that the target cannot be damaged. The hero power specifically reads destroy your opponent, not damage your opponent enough until they die, no. Destroy. Destroy and damage are two completely different things. Now the second part, I'm actually really excited about this one, is where it gets interesting. Now there are plenty of different ways of obtaining like a copy of your opponent's minions or taking your opponent's minions. And one of the questions that I've been asked is, if I were to assemble the four horsemen, not being Uther, the Death Knight, do I win? I believe the way it's programmed is when Uther is played, the hero power then actively checks to see the value of the horseman, meaning each unique horseman has a set value equal to one, essentially. So when one horseman is on the field and it's unique, it has a value of one. So is one equal to four? No, it is not. Therefore, the, the animation does not happen. When you have a second one that is unique, the value is two now. But if you were to replay one that is already on the board, the value does not increase, meaning you only have two. So in this instance, when I have all four on the field, the technically the value of unique horsemen is equal to four, but the hero power is not checking that yet because we don't have the correct hero power. Once the death knight is played, then that hero power checks the value, and sure enough, it's equal to four, therefore, killing your opponent. Number three. Janelai the Dragonhawk is a legendary mage minion from the Rastakhan Rumble expansion that gives you the potential of summoning Ragnaros the Fire Lord. There are certain scenarios where this mage specific minion can be obtained by a different class. In this instance, when Janelai is obtained by the Hunter class, it looks at the current damage that your hero power has dealt, no matter when Janelai was obtained. This can also be replicated using the Warlock class because you are still dealing that two damage it's just not to your opponent, it's to your own self. Unfortunately for the Rogue and Druid class, this interaction does not work because the hero power is not doing the damage, the hero is. Therefore, Janelai is not discounted. 
Number four. In a recent update, Electra's Storm Surge's battle cry was actually changed. Originally, the way the minion's battle cry used to work is that after the spell was cast the first time, anything that happened to minions on the board, whether it was death rattles, whether it would be the summoning of minions or the resummoning of minions, would take place, and then the spell would be casted again. But in the update, the spells are casted one right after another, taking precedence over everything. Hence why the two five five minions in this scenario are still alive. These things happen. Number five. When attacking with your hero into a minion with a lifesteal weapon, you still get the heal after the attack has been made. So your health total can still go below zero and then come back without you actually losing the game. Unreal. Number six. In the event that a exploding bloat bat is combined with a poisonous minion, the death rattle of the bloat bat will destroy your opponent's entire board because the minion is dealing damage to every single creature that your opponent has. And this AoE effect also works with lifesteal minions as well. That's incredible. And last but not least, number seven. When an echo card is played into your opponent's counter spell, you do not get the echo card back into your hand. This similar interaction also applies to the shadow reflection card from the Valera Death Knight. That's gonna be it for me on this video. Let me know down in the comments below what you liked about the video, what you disliked, and if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, because I have so many other random Hearthstone tips that I would love to share with you guys. And if you haven't yet um, subscribed to the channel, please do. I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate that. And if you guys are interested in checking out my stream on Twitch, you can find the link down in the description below. Uh, but with that said, thank you guys so much and stay funky.